Tensions continue between the Seneca Nation and the state after New York State froze all Seneca Nation bank accounts in order to make the nation pay millions in gaming revenue. Two on your side's Danielle Church has the story. The Seneca Nation and supporters continue to voice concerns over the money that was paid to the state two weeks ago, only to have Governor Hochul say 418 of the 564 million would go to the new Bill Stadium. Our money was a quick fix. She could just take it. And then they could bury it and say, well, the Senecas, they owed it to us, they owed it to us. Those uh, natives, they're just trying to cheat us, they're trying to renege. That's the reality of the situation. That money came after a long legal battle with New York and was only turned over after the state served a subpoena to KeyBank and froze all bank accounts on the Seneca Nation two weeks ago. Seneca Nation City Councilor Ross John says that move directly impacted some Western New Yorkers. It's mostly people in Western New York. Like I said, it's 9,700 jobs that uh, are brought on by our activities. And 99% of those are on our territory. So when she chose to freeze those accounts, she was shutting down a large portion of the economy of Western New York, not the Seneca Nation. Right now, New York State gets up to 25% of all revenue from the Seneca Nation's slot machines. Now, some, such as the group Mothers of the Nation, want a better gaming compact contract when the current one expires at the end of next year. Whatever's left over, we pay 4,000 employees or 4,500 employees. We pay all the vendors in our area. We contribute significantly to Western New York. And what has New York State given us? Have they given us $1 in investment? No, we have to fight to have better terms. We're not anti-Buffalo Bills. We're not anti-Western New York. We want to be recognized as one of the big economic en engines of this area. And Hochul's office released a statement saying the courts continually ruled in the state's favor, but the nation didn't fulfill court-ordered obligations. It went on to say, quote, after the nation once again failed to make payments under the terms of an amicable agreement, the state had to take action to enforce the judgment. Reporting in the Information Center, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.